I'm here with one of the coaches for Team Sweden here in Ibiza Stana. And you know, what, first of all, what's your name? Sakarias Talent. First of all, very, very pleased to meet you. I just found out, um, just talking to you, that the Swedes focus on Greco-Roman and have zero freestyle wrestlers coming here to Nostal Town. Can you tell me a little bit, little bit more about that, why that's the case? Uh, basically, it's based out of tradition. Uh, We've we always been a really good Greco country. Uh, in the early 40s and 50s, we, was, we were one of the best countries in the world in Greco. Uh, but we also had freestyle first until the 70s. We had uh, Jan Carlson. He was one of the yeah, he was one of the best in the world in freestyle. But after him, we don't really had any good freestyle wrestler in senior level. We have some young cadets and juniors now, but it's only Greco. And I think it's yeah, it's based out of tradition, basically. And maybe that we are good in Greco because how we're built. We're because you're bigger. People know about Sweden partly because of the strongman competition. You tend to be a little bit bigger and yeah. therefore you compete more. Is that, is that why? Could be. We're, we're a physical people maybe. <laughs> I don't know. We and Finland and Norway and Denmark as well are all Greco countries and we, we are in some way the old Vikings maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a positive relationship with the Russian Federation? now because they excel both in Greco and freestyle and you're so close to, these, to, to Russia uh, is that something where you might want to capitalize on on a relationship with them yeah we actually this year we've been to St. Petersburg with uh, the Greco team once and we had two guys going to uh, Mineral in uh, Russia as well to the Russian training camp so there are some relationships uh, we have some collaboration uh, with Russian but of course that's because they're the best country in the world so any minute with them is good for us so absolutely and they are favored to be to win the entire tournament yeah. here uh, in part because they excel in both freestyle as well as yeah. Greco Roman um, you know being this one of the sports directors in Sweden what is the most difficult part about your job uh, yeah to make to, uh, I don't know it's Actually, it's not so difficult when, because all our athletes are super professional. They make the job easier. Uh, but I just try to make it as easy as possible for them to achieve their goals. I don't want to be one of the things that made the goal not happen. So Absolutely, you don't want to interfere yeah. in the success. What do you like about your job? What's, what's the highlight that, you know, when you took this job, obviously you had to be promoted in, you know, in, in different ways. What is something about this job that you just love now that you just did not expect? It could be travel, it could be something else. No, it's, uh, I'm an old wrestler myself and uh, I know uh, how hard you have to work to come to the highest level. And I want to help these guys and girls out to make their dream come true. So, uh, yeah, be a part of it. That's fantastic. Now, my last question to you is, you know, what, you know, I've only been to Stockholm and Uppsala, and a lot of people don't consider Sweden to be a tourist destination. What would you recommend about, you know, it's just, just for you, not about, not necessarily about tourism, but what about your country do you love? And it could be a place to visit, it could be the famous cinnamon buns, uh, the, or the cardamom buns. Um, it could be anything. That's, that's what I think about when I think about Sweden. I think about the cardamom buns yeah, yeah. and the coffee um, and so on. And, um, and of course, the beautiful snow. What do you think about when you think about Sweden? Uh, you mentioned some of the good parts with the coffee and the fika, of course. But uh, I think the nature, uh, we're a very big country, but with not so many people. So we have a lot of free space. So. Uh, if you want to be by yourself for a moment, then Sweden is a good place to go, especially in the north. The north is super beautiful, both in the summer and in the winter. Uh, what's the name of a couple of cities in the north that you would recommend? Uh, that's the thing, you don't go to the cities, you go to the, to the forest, out to the fjell, as we call it. Uh, but uh, there are some cities uh, like uh, Umeå and Skellefteå, Kiruna, in the north, that you can go to as a base, and then you go out to the... Uh, but yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.